Hello stylers and welcome back to the Full Style Inc. channel for another video. Today I want to talk about personal growth and discovering your own confidence. So the past two weeks have been full with different projects but mainly two big commission. One from a returning client and one from a new client. Last week, you guys joined me live as I finished some upcycled t-shirts from a returning client. And this week, I was consumed with getting things right for my next big commission. This is the first time I am doing menswear. And not only a men's top, but a man's pair of trousers as well. I was so worried and consumed with getting the trousers wrong and getting the fit wrong that something amazing and crazy happened. On this day, you see me here, I'm just recording just for some vlog footage. And I start off with sewing the facing that will be part of the shirt. Now I am going to keep the design aspect secretive until the final reveal. However, I wanted some pop of color against the gray and white pinstripe suiting material that we chose and so i wanted to add some very striking detail with the collar and the cuffs and the placket i spent so much time getting things right and perfect and steaming everything that i somehow mixed up adding the facing to the shirt first skipping the minor details i was working off of a pre-existing pattern that i had modified so i was trying to follow the instructions along with the original pattern adding the facing on i first sewed it on inside on the wrong side as you can see me here i'm just realizing that and then as i continue on i try to make the facing into the collar by taking one of the collar pieces where i should have cut two collar pieces it's, I don't know why, but it took me almost an hour to figure this out. And then it took me another 30, 45 minutes to do all the corrections, cut a second collar piece, put on the interfacing, and finally go on to create a collar. I must have sewn, backstitch, top stitch, press, trim the seam allowance only to seam rip at least two times before I realized this is not the way this goes. And I know that. Now mind you, I have made um, a handful of button up shirts and dresses that require collars. So this is not my first time creating a collar. But when I was sitting there, I could not wrap a, my mind around what I was doing and why it wasn't working. I was so full of anxiety and stress and worried about getting it right. I messed up on the most simplest thing I can do. I was confident that I would be able to pull off the shirt. It was the pants that I was worried about. Well, long story short, after taking a break, possibly shedding a tear or two about it, getting something to eat, I got back to town to fixing a collar. Once I got the collar, I went right on with the placket, inserting the placket, pressing all of my seams. And this is where I decided to stop. The client is scheduled for a fitting later next week, but I want to keep some of the design details secretive, as well as not finish all the fine tuning until I have a final fitting. So stand up late cutting out all the bias, ta bias tape and special little details and pressing things, I went to bed kind of frustrated with myself as to why I messed up on something that seemed so natural to me. Why did I mess up on the easy part? But at the same time, I had to show myself grace. So the next day, while still on my spring break, I decided that I was going to take a break creatively from my creative work. 
I brought this paint by number canvas painting back in February and I've been slowly working away on it. It's one of those coloring painting things that has these fine details. And so I decided to treat myself and go outside and paint. The weather has been beautiful all week long in the mid to high 70s and sometimes even reaching into the low 80s. So I decided to take a seat on my front porch. Now normally I would paint in the back porch, but last summer a huge branch from the tree that I sit under fell. I mean, it was huge. It sat out there for weeks until my mom and I had to literally break it apart and move it. So right now I'm not really messing with my backyard. Anywho, back to the painting. Even with working with this painting, I grew frustrated with myself because I kept messing up. I kept painting outside the lines. I couldn't get the strokes perfectly even within the little spaces. But after a while, I said to myself, it's paint. You're gonna cover over and you're gonna be able to correct your, your mistakes when you go in with the bigger brush and, and put in the black and the background and the border of things. So I gave myself once again grace to make the mistake, knowing that the mistake will rectify itself in the end. Now, I have been very good with making sure that I correct and I do things perfectly and excellent so that my client is very pleased with the outcome of this button up. So after the day of frustration the day before, and the day of calming and relaxation with the self-care and painting, I continue my self-care with giving myself a facial. And then on Thursday, I finally set out to finish the pens. And you know what, Stowers? I executed those pens absolutely flawlessly. I had one minor hiccup with the waistband, but other than that, I was able to complete the pants. I didn't stumble, I didn't get frustrated. I, had to, I didn't have to do a lot of seam reaping. I spent so much time on the day before going back and forth, messing up with the top that the pants were a breeze. The most thing, the one thing I was absolutely worried about was the one thing that I did absolutely well on. And not only that, I didn't force myself to sit in one spot and push it out. I gave myself breaks, I got up, I moved around, I gave myself a lunch and a break time to watch something and I paced myself. It didn't take me the whole day. I went to sleep that night proud of myself that I completed this, proud of myself that I was patient, proud of the growth that I saw in myself and how I didn't grow frustrated and irritated and how I had to overcome my own worry and imposter and imposter syndrome from setting in to tell me that I was not good enough and I wasn't gonna be able to complete this. The suit is not 100% complete, but it is a completion that I am happy with. I hope you guys like this video. It is something different. I just wanted to come in for a story time and show you how that I am growing more and more confident in who I am and the skills that I have been given and the gifts that I am using to create a life that God has for me. I hope that, I hope that this encouraged you, Stylers, to know that you are growing, that you are evolving, that you are becoming everything that God has called you to be. Once you put your trust and faith in him and have confidence in yourself and who he has created you to be. And with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.